National Finals, which will also be a virtual contest this year. There is not a youth division at the national level. Information will be sent to all national finalists and alternates in the next few days about registering for the national finals. If any of the national finalists aren't able to participate at the national contest, we will let the national alternates know. All students will receive their evaluation forms by email in the coming weeks. The priority is to assist the students advancing to the national finals, but we hope to have all forms shared by, by the beginning of June. I apologize if I do not pronounce your name correctly. Luckily, it'll be on the screen, so it should all be right there. We're gonna start with a special award. We have nine special awards. Uh, the best entry in use of newspapers is sponsored by the Clark Historical Library at Central Michigan University. Newspapers are a, cre are a key primary source for historical research and have been described as the diary of a community. The special award recognizes projects that have used newspapers as an important source of information in documenting history. The Clark Historical Library originated in 1954 when Dr. Norman E. Clark Sr. donated his collection of historical books and other material to his alma mater, Central Michigan University. The library named in his honor continues to collect both the rare and commonplace to document the people of Michigan and the Old Northwest. Students had the opportunity to nominate themselves for up to three special awards. So in some cases, we don't have nominations from all three divisions. Um, in the case of the best entry in use of newspapers from the junior division, we have the winner is the group exhibit, Exploring Mers Tate, Breaking Barriers Around the World by Sasha Hollins, Elena Kuhn, Naya Kuhn, and Aliyah Ward from the Mers Tate Explorers. 